Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about relevance of psychology or applications of psychology in nursing profession. That is how psychology is helpful in nursing profession. So this is taken from unit 1 that is introduction unit in psychology. So this is my part 5 video. Already I have posted 4 videos that is part 1, part 2, A and B, part 3 and part 4 videos. You can watch our channel playlist psychology for BSc nursing students for these videos. Also I have given the link in the description box, suggested end card and I card also. This video is useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students and students who are studying general psychology as well as B.Ed. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. So the contents what we are going to discuss in this part 5 video as I have told earlier it is relevance of psychology in nursing. So psychology in relevance to nursing profession. So nowadays psychology has become uh, very useful in not only in nursing profession but also in many other professions because all professions are dealing with human beings. So the success in life of many people depends on how they are going to adjust with others how they are going to influence others and how they are going to react to others feelings so your success will be dependent on these aspects that is how well you are adjusting with the situation or others and how you are going to influence others as well as influenced by others and how you are going to react to others so the ability to understand ourselves and others is very important in psychology so in psychology first you have to understand your own self then only you can understand others without understanding your own self you cannot be able to understand others so this is with regard to a brief introduction of psychology in relevance to nursing so let's see in detail what are all the various aspects in which psychology is helpful for the nursing profession so first to understand her own self second one is to understand patients or others to recognize abnormal behavior so by learning psychology you know what is normal behavior so when it is deviated from normal behavior then it is recognized as abnormal behavior next to understand other people to provide quality care to the patients then to help patients to adjust to a new situation or to the current situation to help patients to adjust to the situation to help the student nurses to appreciate the necessity of changing the environment or surroundings. Then to help for studying effectively. Then for readjustment. So these are the points which we are going to discuss in detail in this video. How this is helpful in understanding self? The knowledge of psychology will help the nurses to get an insight into her own motives. So first, the nurse can understand his or her own motives, own emotions, own strength, own weakness, own desires, his or her attitudes, personality, characters and his or her ambitions so first how the nurse is going to know about her own self her desires or wishes her motives her attitude her emotions her feelings her personality characteristics as well as her ambitions everything she can understand so once she knows her strengths and weakness she can she can uh, strengthen herself or she can make some modifications with regard to her personality characteristics so that she can function more effectively as well as efficiently. So by knowing our own strength and weakness we can perform well. So thereby it helps the nurses in order to understand their own strength and weakness so that they can 
lead an effective and efficient productive life so that they can carry out the responsibilities very effectively as well as efficiently and perform their duties with utmost sincerity and caring next moving on to to understand patients nurses are dealing with whom yes nurses are dealing with patients so uh, nurses are professionals who are meant to provide care to the patients so the knowledge of psychology will help the nurse not only to understand her own self but also to understand the for the patients with whom they are going to work okay with whom they are going to take care so in this way the knowledge of psychology is going to under help the nurse to understand the patient's motives attitudes perceptions personality characteristics so that uh, first she understands her own self then she understands the patient uh, so that she can take good care of the patient which helps in fast healing and recovery of the patient next to recognize abnormal behavior so in psychology we can know what is normal behavior any deviation from that normal behavior is considered as abnormal behavior in other days due to the stressful lifestyle many are suffering with mental illnesses this mental illnesses can be varying from minor mental illness to severe mental illnesses so the nurse can understand the abnormal behavior in various mental hospitals or in various uh, clinics or in community health centers uh, wherever she is working she can identify if the person is having some abnormal behavior she can refer that particular pa patient to some counseling centers or so to some mentally health institutions depending upon the severity of illness so the knowledge of psychology helps the nurses in recognizing mental illness at general hospitals community health centers and clinics and you can help them how they can effectively um, deal with the uh, stress anxiety and other life problems or situations or sometimes if they need counseling you can give psychological counseling or you can refer to a psychologist for counseling services like that and all next to understand other people so the student nurse has to study work and live with other nurses doctors patients and their family members so uh, i told she has to understand her own self she has to understand the patient she has to understand other people because she is going to um, work with uh, other uh, departments like uh, doctors uh, physiotherapists uh, psych psychiatrist psychologist occupational therapist as well as she is going to deal with the uh, patient family members relatives etc so she has to understand that each human being is unique even our five fingers are not same so similarly each person will be having their own individual difference one person is different from other person one person will have one specific like and dislikes compared to that of other person so each person will have their own specific likes and dislikes and they have their own interest and abilities okay so everyone has their strengths and weakness their own abilities their wish just their motives everything will be different and also their custom religion caste tradition the way they have been brought up everything is going to affect their behavior so as a nurse should understand all these aspects so understanding other people is very very important so this comes when the nurse understand her own self then she can understand other persons better next to provide quality care to patients so quality care so it's not it doesn't mean quantity it means quality so we have to give a care which is quality oriented so uh, whatever the care you are going to provide to the patient it is not only physical care it also involves psychological well being so the patient will be having severe fear and anxiety with regard to his or her illnesses so you have to understand the patient's emotional feelings and you have to act accordingly and whatever the care you are providing the quality of the care is going to play a very important role so you have to have a good understanding of the patient so that the nurse can provide the best 
utmost quality care to the patient next help patients to adjust to the situation so we have to make the patient to adjust to the situation so patients will not be happy if you are going to tell that they are going to have some diseases if it is a minor illness okay but if it is going to be a life threatening illness or major illnesses like cancer or heart related issues or kidney related issues vital organ related issues they will be definitely severely depressed or they will get angry denial like that and all so many stages they will undergo so you have to make the patient to understand the condition and to cope with the condition or adjust to the particular condition so for this the knowledge of psychology is very very important because the patient will be in a crisis situation so he don't know how to handle the crisis he can either go for depression or he can go for anger or some untoward instance can happen in his or her life so you have to give psychological counseling you have to train them you have to educate them uh, in order to cope or adjust to the particular situation okay so many diseases such as heart disease cancer etc require special coping skills from the healthcare team members you have to give special attention to those patients in order to cope with the situation next help the student nurse to appreciate the necessity for changing the environment or surroundings suppose a student nurse for nursing it's best to stay in the hostel and because you have severe uh, tight duty schedules and severe work schedules your study is also somewhat difficult compared to that of other professions so you have to dedicate yourself so the best environment uh, is a hostel environment either in your college days or even sometimes after in your work uh, area also sometimes the nurses will be staying in a hostel and they will be taking care of the patients so what you have to do you have to adjust to the see all environment may not be as home environment so when you are going to some new hostel environment definitely you will have some home sickness like that and all so you have to adjust to the new environment so for this adjustment to a particular environment or surrounding the knowledge of psychology helps you in making adjustment and also the change in environment is sometimes necessary even for the um patients as well as for better adjustment and happiness for example a boy who has not uh, uh, get affection from or care from his or her parents so you can send him to some uh, foster parents or adopted parents who will better care the boy so that the boy will get the emotional love and affection from the adopted parents or foster parents okay and being nurses you have to adjust to your hostel environment also so it's good for your study purpose as well as during your uh, practice in the hospital setup also you can able to adjust to the new environment so the knowledge of psychology is playing a very vital role in this aspect also next helps for studying effectively so in psychology you know the various training measures the learning measures the motivation measures the learning theories and all you are learning so for effective studying for new for studying new things or new facts or information and new conditions treatment everything the knowledge and all know you can study by understanding the basics of psychology so here you are learning psychology of learning motivation um your aptitude attitude everything is going to play a vital role in your studying aspect so mainly the theories of learning how uh, the various steps in learning that learning you have a separate unit itself in psychology so that will help you in um, studying next is readjustment a nurse needs to make the following kinds of adjustment for success in her his or her career overcoming homesickness so many will be having homesickness when you are going to a new environment like in hostel or in hospital anything so you have to overcome your homesickness so that you, if you are homesick all the time if you are thinking about your family if you are homesick you cannot progress in your life so you can overcome your 
ஹோம் சிக்னஸ் பை ரீஅட்ஜஸ்டிங் டு த நியூ என்விரான்மெண்ட் தென் அட்ஜஸ்டிங் டு சிக் பர்சன்ஸ் ஹூ மே க்ரை சம்டைம்ஸ் த பேஷன்ஸ் மே க்ரை தே மே வெண்டிலேட் தர் ஃபீலிங்ஸ் டு யூ ஓகே ஆர் சம்டைம்ஸ் தே மே ஹாவ் ஃபிசிக்கல் ஆங்கர் தே வில் அப்யூஸ் ஃபிசிக்கலி ஆர் சம் சம்திங் லைக் தட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் சம் கர்சஸ் தே வில் கிவ் ஸோ எவ்ரி திங் ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் டு அட்ஜஸ்ட் டு த சிக் பர்சன்ஸ் த எமோஷ்னாலிட்டி த எமோஷ்னல் அவுட் பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பர்சன் யூ ஹாவ் டு consider it and you should not worry for all those things so you have to overcome all these things and you have to take it as a part and parcel in your uh, life situation then trying to work and study together so you have to work together and you have to study together the cooperation the basic cooperation or adjustment is very important here the physical and mental well being of your patient mainly depends on your nurse so when a nurse is going to take care of the patient physically also healing will be taking place and psychologically also the patient will be getting confidence and the patient will be performing better so she has to deal with different people with different problems both physically and mentally so to serve them to serve different kinds of patients with both physical and mental illness the nurse needs to have an adequate knowledge of psychology then only she can understand the patients better and she can deliver the topmost care to the patients so my next video will be on methods of psychology hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel